Well, I'm just leaving the hostel in Polbridge and I'm crying a little bit because I just left uh, my hiking partner and it's always scary to go out alone, but it's also really fun. <laughs> and there's always just lots of emotions in hiking in general. <laughs> so I've got like a 19 mile climb today and tomorrow is a pretty gnarly ridge line. So um, I think it'll be fine. I'm just a hot mess right now. <laughs> Well, it's 11.30 and I only have like five to five and a half miles till I get to where I can camp tonight. Probably could have stayed in town for some coffee. Damn it, Brianna. I was getting so antsy, I just want to leave so early, you know? Cause you never know how far you're gonna to wanna to push. But uh, I'm doing like 19 miles today and I can't really do more than that because oh, I've got a river crossing. Uh, because then I have like this 10 mile ridge line in the snow and I'm not about to camp in that so I guess I'll just have a relaxing evening I don't know I think I hit a camp ground soon maybe there'll be some cool people I uh, actually skipped like a mile and a half today this guy named Eric came driving up the road uh, looking for morels and uh, I was like how far are you going he's like oh I don't know you want to ride and I was like sure so I jumped in and then a mile and a half the road ended so that was nice and then I passed four guys who were uh, they had started on the ridge line yesterday I think and then they decided to turn around go back to pole bridge this is raining and nasty I guess I don't know uh, and then I just passed the couple that I've been hiking around. Uh, I'll probably see them later though, I'm sure. And then there's the four hikers, probably like two or three hours behind me from the hostel. So, hey, there's people around me, which is good. But the couple said they got charged by a bear today. Uh, they didn't have to use a bear spray. Hey bear! Uh, but it sounded really scary. I probably would have like pooped my pants if that was me. Uh, so, you know, water crossing. Just trying to stay safe out here and uh, not get sunburnt. And that's it, okay, bye. <laughs> guess I'm getting my sandals out. Yikes. It's a lot of water. No big deal, just walking on the road. Good thing it's warm out. This is just an insane amount of water. And that looks like camp. Unfortunately, I can't go any farther today because it's the ridge line and I'm not about to camp in snow. So I gotta stop at this lovely place and it doesn't look half bad. Well, I made it to my destination and I'm a little bored out of my mind. <laughs> um, there's camp. Um, it's really hot, so I'm like half naked. <laughs> And in the shade. Uh, it's not that hot. It actually feels good. But uh, God, I was looking at the map and I was like, I probably could have done five miles. And there looks like there's a place to camp at the saddle. But 
I'm trying not to kill myself, even though I kind of wish I would have done it. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Tomorrow I'll get up nice and early, start on the ridge line. I'm kind of hoping those hikers from the hostel get here tonight, but I bet they go to the campground to camp. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to keep myself entertained. <laughs> do some yoga keep my head in the right place um but this is kind of a cool spot i actually like it and uh, i haven't seen a whole lot of bear activity up here i saw a lot today on the road and it was kind of scary so uh, but i haven't seen one which i'm totally fine with if i never see one so things are going they're going okay Oh my gosh okay i haven't been filming much today because i was trying to pull off a 28.5 mile day which was a little ridiculous uh but i got i realized it was a four mile road walk and you know old dot here i got picked up <laughs> so now i have 26 24 and a half mile day which is so much better um and the road was all uphill and now i have like five more miles uphill and i'm going to the lookout tower i really wanted to camp there because i've been like uh i don't know when i camp alone i'm just like really concerned about the bears um and i was like man if i can get to a cabin tonight that'd be so sweet and now i'm definitely gonna make it and i'm just so excited i've been pushing so hard all day today i woke up at like 5 30 i've just been like excuse my language hiking my ass off so and i i wasn't gonna get there till like 9 9 30 but now i'm gonna get there at like 6 or 6 30 which is just amazing and i'm so happy so anyway that's my update Got like 0.4 left to end my 24 and a half mile day. I'm so tired. I'm driving myself with jelly beans. It's really effective. Well, I have made it to this dang cabin and it's pretty cool. And the view outside is really amazing. And it looks like there's a porta potty down below. Just trying to dry out my tent and my shoes for tomorrow. I think I can sleep in a bit after how hard I went today. <laughs> I am really tired and my feet are, they've been wet and they're not super happy. So hopefully once they're dry, they'll be fine. But I think I might've gone a little bit too far today. So we'll see how they're doing. I'm gonna make some dinner. Great weather today. <clears throat> Not too much snow on the way up here, but uh, this morning a lot of snow. Like there was a, a mile that took me an hour because it was just like really hard to navigate and all that jazz. So I have a like a mushroom stroganoff for dinner and it's one of those two servings and I usually have a really hard time eating two servings. So I'm like, Please, hunger gods, let me eat it all. Tonight, I don't want to have to deal with it. So, 
that is my update. I actually, besides my feet, uh, feel surprisingly good. I don't think the lactic acid has kicked in, so maybe in an hour I won't be saying that. Okay, this one is actually really good. Still don't know if I'm going to be able to eat it all, but I'm pleasantly surprised that I like it. Uh, I'm so happy I'm sleeping in a cabin and I don't have to wake up and be like, is it bear? And it's really just like a freaking muskrat or whatever those little things are that have been running around. Oh, God bless you, body. You did it. I think I'm going to do 22 miles tomorrow. Well, I'm just leaving the cabin. It's like 6.30. I'll do 22 miles today and then I'll pretty much be in town. Uh, and the cabin was so awesome. I slept so good. And the sunset was, or the sunrise was so amazing. Um, so I hope there's not too much snow for me today. <laughs> So done with this. I just want to cry. It's so exhausting. And I just keep falling. And I didn't think it was going to be this bad on this ridge. And it is. It's all on the freaking north side. That lake looks nice. Okay, we got like six more miles of potential snow, but I really hope and starts to go away. Where we go on the south side. Thank the fucking lord we have some trail. Jesus Christ. What a day. Oh my god. This is probably the first time I've seen the trail in like two or three miles. So that's really exciting. It's been a slow day. Yeah, that was really short lived. Well, I'm finally starting my descent down off the ridge. I will take a river of a trail all day over the snow. So here we go. Just coming into Eureka. Thankfully, after that gnarly ass fridge line, I've just had some cruiser miles down. I'm just heading into town. It's like seven. I tried really hard to sleep in, and well, this is as late as I slept in. Uh, but I'm just leaving the campground. Uh, I forget what it's called, but Mary's the owner. She was super awesome. I got a little bit of a shower, but the water kept going hot to cold, so it was very brief. <laughs> uh, but the teepee was awesome. There was like actually beds and sheets and. Oh, now I'm gonna go eat my face out in town. So I'm hoping for some French toast and coffee and eggs. That sounds amazing. I didn't mean to scare you. Sorry, buddy. Hi, you pretty cow. Hi. This poor sleeper's all alone. You gotta cross the fence, buddy. Can to get to your friends? <laughs> oh, hi, buddy. Sleepy pony. Look at that lip. Sleepy pony. Well, it's Monday night. Yeah, it's Monday night. And, um, <laughs> 
had a crazy day in town and nothing has went as planned in the, in the best of ways. <laughs> um, so this morning I got up and I left the TP and uh, it was like eight miles into town. I figured I'd walk four of those miles and then once I hit the big road, probably get picked up. Um, and like three miles in, after like five cars had passed me and given me really dirty looks for having my thumb up, <laughs> um, this lady stops and picks me up and she's going to church and she's all dolled up and she's like, yeah, I'll drive you into town and she drops me off for breakfast. I say thank you and I go in and there's like, like everybody sees me and they're like, oh, you're a hiker and it's this whole shebang shebang and uh the waiter starts chatting with me john his name is john john and there was another hiker there and we all start talking and and they start asking me like how i'm doing and what miles i'm pulling and i tell them and they just start like freaking out they're like there's no way you did that like that's insane and uh i i don't know i felt like really cool i was like yeah i did that <laughs> um and it was kind of validating especially because yesterday was such a hard day it was nice to just like be in town and be like, yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> oh, not really. I'm such a nerd. Um, but anyway, so then I, I leave, I leave from breakfast and, um, I run into Lois again, the lady who picked me up and, and anyway, long story short, she ends up taking me to her house. I shower, I do my laundry there. Uh, and then she like gives me this whole freaking tour of Eureka and like show introduces me to her friends yada yada Tell her to have me back at the motel by five and she has me back by five And then I'm like, you know what? Like I'm clean. I may as well hit the trail Like there's no reason for me to stay in a motel and spend 70 bucks when I've already done everything I need to do So I, I ask for my resupply box and I'm like look I'd plan to stay here I sent my box here, but I'm actually gonna hit the trail happy to pay for you guys holding my box and they're like no no don't worry about it so i switch my food out and then i go and i'm like okay i'm gonna go get some food um and it was like a two mile road walk and it was hot and i was like well i bet i can get a ride and sure enough this guy in a jeep is like are you hiking the pnt and i'm like yeah and he's like i hiked the pct in 2011 so we start chatting and he takes me to the restaurant he comes in with me he buys me dinner um <laughs> And then John John, the waiter from breakfast, comes uh, back to, this is a really long story. I'm sorry, you guys probably don't even care. I, I'm going to finish it though. So anyway, John John comes in and uh, he starts chatting with me too. And he's like, well, let me at least like hit you the rest of the road walk out of Eureka. Uh, and I was like, why not? Like, I'm no purist. I don't want to hike road miles. Um, sure. So he hikes me like two like through all the roads of Eureka and, and drops me off. And then I start hiking up and uh, I'm like, okay, as soon as I find like a flat spot, I'm going to camp for the night. Like, cool. And then I see a tent and I'm like, oh my God, I wonder who that is. Um, so I, I just walk right up to the tent <laughs> and it turns out that it was Lee, a guy who I met um, as I was heading out of Pole Bridge. He was going back into Pole Bridge because him and his peeps decided not to do the ridge line from Pole Bridge to Eureka and I was like you made a good call it's pretty miserable and uh so I chatted with him a while and and so I'm, I'm camped overlooking the Kukanusa I think is how you say it a uh, reservoir and um I mean you can't see it from where I'm at but anyway it's been a very social day and it's been like it's just been nice to have like a bit of a break from the trail and feel like I've done really good and that, that everything is good. So that was a really long update. And if you made it through that, I'm very impressed. And uh, it's like 10 o'clock and it's still very light out and I'm not tired because I didn't hike today. So <sighs> I need to go to bed, but okay, whatever. This is long enough. Okay, bye.